If you think you're getting the deal of a lifetime on a luxury Valentine's Day gift, there's a chance a federal officer instead of your sweetheart is going to open that gift. On good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> while you were sleeping, NBC4 investigates Jamie Ostroff was looking inside packages with U.S. Customs and Border Protection at the Port of Cincinnati. Yes, this was so fascinating. It is a 24-7 operation, mm. and here is why. There are more than 100,000 shipments coming in to the port of Cincinnati on a slow day. This is one of the nation's biggest, biggest hubs for international shipping. And whether it is a counterfeit handbag, drugs, uh, anything else illicit, screening for those items is an around-the-clock operation. When a plane full of packages arrives in Cincinnati, it's greeted by a team of officers like it might be clear to me. from U.S. Customs and Border Protection, led by Chief Supervisory Officer Eric Sizzleman. CBP is the first line of defense for any, you know, people and cargo coming into the country. Through a sophisticated x-ray machine, they go. As the shipments are coming through, we're evaluating the image to see if we discover any anomalies. And if something doesn't look right, then we do a physical exam. In the couple of hours we spent with officers, they discovered poppy pods. People will actually boil these down and make an opiate tea out of this. Potentially fake Botox. You don't really know what you're injecting in your body. A picture frame full of marijuana on. and... As I can see, this doesn't look quite normal in here. A toaster oven with dental mold smuggled inside. Something like that could potentially be a test run. Illegal drugs, phony pharmaceuticals, and um, teeth aside, there's something else officers look out for. Um, Louis Vuitton, we have Coach. Counterfeit um, goods, from jewelry to Jordans. They, they look terrible, the quality. And of course, the handbags. You know, we would refer to this as a 50 footer. Um, Sorry, a 50 footer? A 50 footer, right? Why is that? From 50 feet away, you can tell that it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for a great deal on luxury gifts for your Valentine, Zizzleman says think before you buy. You're getting an inferior product and you're getting something that's potentially dangerous. So yes, dangerous. Zizzleman says true, counterfeit as as brand price. name electronics and auto parts are out there too. You don't know how well this product is made. And if it's not made well, could you plug this in and potentially start a fire in your home? If U.S. Customs spots a counterfeit, they seize it. But the problems go beyond disappointment and potential danger. Goods like this are imported into the country. They're sold. The profits are made. The profits are then sent back overseas to help support those terrorist organizations. Protecting not only uh, consumers, but protecting the nation. So in Cincinnati alone last year, U.S. Customs and Border Protection seized what would have been more than $105 million worth of counterfeit goods had those products been genuine. To protect yourself from buying a knockoff, make sure you're familiar with the seller, including if you are shopping on Amazon, and buy the item with a credit card so you can dispute the charge if something goes wrong. And of course, it is a cliche, but it doesn't make it any less true. If something seems too good to be true, yeah, it probably is. Yeah, especially if you don't know the source of where well, you're buying it from. The, in the age of online shopping, yeah, you're just you don't know where the web. You're hoping is from. for the best. You're just yeah. exactly. Buy. Yeah, and you know a Louis Vuitton bag, for example, because I saw a ton of those yeah. knockoffs there. They can retail for thousands, mm -hmm. plural, yeah. of dollars. And so if you're seeing one online for $500, that's still not cheap, but you think you're getting a good deal. Right. And now you're out $500. Right. You just got to wonder sometimes, is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? Well, I can assure you a Louis Vuitton bag for me, not worth it. <laughs> a disappointed sweetheart, <laughs> that's, never worth it. Yeah, that'll news. cost you the rest of your life. That's for Jamie, sure. Jamie, that was amazing. <laughs>